Mm -hmm. Just allow them to take your hand and allow them to take you to your soul family where you can be healed and repaired. So you have gone back to childhood. And as you're holding the hand of that person, you'll just know who that is. Is it a man or a woman? A man. It's a man. Uh -huh. And as you look at that man, do you recognise him? No, his hands are very big. His hands are big. Very good. Mm -hmm. Do you feel safe? Do you feel happy? Do you feel frightened? How do you feel? No, I feel safe. You feel safe. Very good. And just allow him now to take you to your family. And I want you now to be in that place where your soul family greets you in his presence. And as you're taking all that information on board, how many souls are in your family group? Five. Five souls. Mm -hmm. Do they look in human form or are they in colours? Describe them to me. What do they look like? I can feel their presence, but I can't see the... the... You can feel their presence. Uh -huh. But I can't say the... Then mm -hmm. these are human. But you can't say that they're human. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, they're probably not. So what I want you to do now is, I want you to make an intention to ask them all together, what message is it that they give you? What message are they giving you for today? And just feel that message coming towards you. Just feel that message coming from them. What do you feel they're saying to you? Happiness. Happiness. Uh -huh. And ask them, there are five souls in your soul group and you say that they're not necessarily human, but I want you to connect with each and every one. Do you recognise any of those souls just by their presence and their essence? My son. Your son is in the, your soul group, yeah? Mm-hmm. My friend. Your friend. We have not talking for a long time. Uh-huh. My father. Your father. My aunt. Your aunt. Mm -hmm. Who's that last one there? My husband. Your husband. Uh -huh. So I want you to focus on your husband there. And I want you to connect with him. I want you to just feel that you can connect to his soul and his energy, mind to mind and soul to soul. And ask him, what was the contract for today? Why did you choose the life today? What was the contract? You know, I feel very... Um, pain in, in my heart uh -huh. when I'm seeing him I'm, I don't see him but I feel him it's like yeah. painful yeah why is it painful what did you choose to experience with him I don't know I feel anger anger uh huh. Did you complete your contract with him? Yes, I did. Uh huh. Complete. Uh huh. That's the message. Thank you very much. Well, now that we are finished with the soul family, I want you now to connect with your higher self. 
So bid them farewell and feel yourself present in this room. And I want you to connect with that subconscious mind of you, yours, and take a deep breath in and step away from your body and allow your higher self to come forward and work with me. And as I talk to the higher self now, as it's using your voice, tell me, are you male or female or neither? Neither. Neither. Uh -huh. How many lives have you had with her? Five. Five. Uh -huh. And what is it that you work together with? What's the contract? Be strong. Uh -huh. And how's she doing with that? Is she doing well? Very good. Uh -huh. and what I want to do now is I want us to do a body scan. So we'll start at the top of the head and we'll just work our way down to the tips of the toes. And as we go down, just like a light beam, like an x-ray, you might sense there are areas in the body where there might be a memory or something that we can work with today. So start at the top of the head and just start to scan down past the eyes and the nose and the jaw and go down the neck. And just remember if you feel anything as you go down the torso and the heart, the heart, the heart. I'll make a note of that. And let's just continue down into this solar plexus here. And into your tummy area. All the way down your thighs to your knees. Down your shins, all the way to the tips of your toes. Knees. Your knees, uh-huh. So let's start in the heart area. I want you to go down as small as a cell now. And I want you to travel towards that heart area. And as you travel towards that heart area, I'm going to connect with you. So let's just connect with that heart. And as you go down into that space and feel the energy in the heart, tell me what's happening in the heart. How does it feel? Feels pain. Pain? Mm -hmm. But that pain is it's not that the physical pain, it's like more just pain. It's not physical pain, it's mm -hmm. emotional yes, pain. It is emotional pain. Emotional pain. Is that from this life or a previous life? From this life. From this life? Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, you're a higher self. Tell me, what symptoms is this causing her in this life today? Is it good for her? It's good. It's good? At the moment. At the moment. And as of when she's ready, she'll be able to release that? She will. She will. Okay. So let's go down to the knees. I want to connect with these knees. Travel down to the knees. And as you get up to the knees and you go round, feel the flesh and the muscle and the cells. What's going on in these knees? What's the emotion? She needs to start to believe. Ah, oh, she needs to start to believe. Uh -huh. Yeah, she needs the church, the card. She needs the church? Yes. And did you say the card? The God. The God. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She needs to release that anger. To release that anger? Is the anger in her knees? 
Whereabouts does she hold that anger in her body? She needs to go to the church and, you know, let, let, let it go. Yes. Uh huh. And she needs to pray. That's why the knees. Oh, that's why it's in the knees. It's symbolic that she needs to go to the church yes. to pray, to let it go. Yes. Is now the time for her to release that memory? Yes, now it's time. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I've got a couple of questions that I wanted to ask. How many guides does she have? Me. Three guides. Uh-huh. What do they look like? Do they look like us? No, they are angels. Angels, uh-huh. And what is it that they work with her today? What? Why are they there? What's their purpose? The guides? Mm-hmm. Do they bring a joy? Do they bring a strength? All the time. Strength. Uh -huh. Joy, happiness. Mm -hmm. Ask it? them what message do they give her for today? Just listen to them and if they could give you an answer, what would it be? will be okay. Uh-huh. Thank you. Well, I got the answer to the other question, but I wanted to ask about a recent relationship. What's going on there? What's the contract that they're doing this all over again then? Is it a different situation? No, it's not. It's the same situation. Mm -hmm. They need to finish what they planned. And what did they plan? To be together. Uh huh. I want you to communicate with that person because you can do this mind to mind and soul to soul. What is it that's holding them back? He also needs to learn. What is it that he needs to learn? Is it trust? <coughs> Fear. Fears. Fears? Mm -hmm. He needs to learn. He needs to let. To let go. To let go of the fears, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and tell me about Jacob. Why did Jacob contract to come into your life? For you to be there for him? What was that purpose? It's everything about the strength. Uh-huh. Oh, so it's about building the strength within. Very good. Uh -huh. And will you be okay? Yes. Uh -huh. Well, now we've come to the end of the session. Uh, as I talk to the higher self, is there anything else that we need to deal with in the body today or are we done? Are we complete? Just check. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. So now that we've come to the end of the session, I want to thank you for working with me. And just step back now, just to allow my client to come back into her body, to feel herself on that sofa there, in this room, 
her eyelids getting lighter and lighter, remembering everything she needs to remember, feeling wonderful and comfortable and confident. And when you're ready, open your eyes. <laughs> Very good.